This demonstration shows you how to publish your MATLAB code from the editor to HTML and other formats, useful when you need to share or describe your work to others. Let's first open an example M file that creates and filters some signals. To publish MATLAB code, you must first divide it into cells by inserting cell breaks with double percent. To publish your MATLAB code using the default options, press the Publish button here. Your code then executes and the graphical or textual results generated for each cell are captured and published to HTML, which is the default document type. You can add more descriptive text and formatting to the output document. We will look at another version of this MATLAB file which has this added. You add a title by including a cell at the top without any code. You can add a description here or in any cell and the comments will be turned into body text in the output document. You can give uh, cell names which will be turned into section headings. You can format your document text by inserting special markup text. For example, you can write an equation using standard LaTeX markup. You can specify bullets. Note that you can add comments in a cell without a header for additional body text. You can specify basic font formatting such as monospaced or bold. The command window output will also be captured, such as when this variable b is displayed. All markup can be inserted via the context menu, such as here we will insert a hypertext link. We will publish it again. Here you see the document title and the comments that have been turned into body text. Here is the equation. Cell names have been turned into section headings and a table of contents created. There is the ability list. The monospaced text and the bold text. And the command window output. You can specify different publishing settings for different files and also publish MATLAB code that is contained in a function file requiring input arguments by using publish configurations. Here I have some code in a MATLAB function which reads some data from a file that varies as a function of time and plots the information for one particular day that you specify as an input argument such as you make a customized publish configuration associated just with this file by clicking here. You can specify some code to run, particularly useful when calling a function with input arguments. You can specify different output formats such as LaTeX, Word, PowerPoint here we will choose Word. And you can specify whether or not to include the code or evaluate the code. You can save these settings and reuse them for other configurations. Now we will close this and publish again using the new settings. Here we see the document is generated in the format we specified. Just like with scripts, when publishing functions, you can include a title by inserting an additional cell at the top. Here we see the title. You can create multiple configurations for the same file by clicking here and specifying additional options or code. And then we access from here. 
finally, you can also create documents from the command line with the publish function. This concludes the demonstration. You can try these examples in MATLAB now or watch one of the other videos.